Our next question is question number 80. Which one of the following is an example of thermosetting polymer? The first option is given neoprene. Second option is polyvinyl chloride. Third option is given nylon 66. And fourth option is given bakelite. So first three options are fibers. They can't be thermosetting plastic. While fourth option is bakelite and bakelite is considered as thermosetting plastic. So correct option is fourth one. The next question is question number 81. Which of the following organic compounds polymerizes to form polyester decron? Polyester, it means the polymer having so many ester linkage. An ester linkage is produced by the reaction of carboxylic acid and alcohol. Now see, this decron is also known as terylene and terylene is used in making fabrics. So decron, the monomers of this polymer should be terethalic acid and ethylene glycol. It means the third option is correct option. So students, our next question is question number 82. Which one of the following is not a common component of photochemical smog? And the options given are ozone, acrolene, peroxyacetyl nitrate and chlorofluorocarbons. A smog which may be reducing a smog or oxidizing a smog. Photochemical smog is known as oxidizing smog and all the three components ozone, acrolein and peroxyacetyl nitrates are present in photochemical smog. But the fourth option chlorofluorocarbon. This compound is responsible for global warming but this is not a component of photochemical smog so correct option is fourth one. Our next question is question number 83. In the Zeldahn method for estimation of nitrogen present in a soil sample, ammonia evolved from 0.75 gram of sample neutralized 10 milliliter of 1 molar sulfuric acid. The percentage of nitrogen in the soil is. Zeldahn method is used to estimate the percentage of nitrogen in soil or in other compounds. In this method, we can directly calculate the percentage of nitrogen using this formula. And the formula is 1.4 into NaVa. Here volume must be taken in milliliter divided by the mass of organic compound taken of organic compound taken. Now I am using this formula to calculate percentage of nitrogen. It is 1.4. Normality of acid. Here the acid taken is sulfuric acid and this is a diprotic acid. So its molarity is given 1m. It means its normality will be 2. Volume of acid is given 10 milliliter. So I am putting the value 10 here. Mass of organic compound which is used for estimation that is 0.75. And if we solve this then percentage of nitrogen is coming out 37.33%. So the first option is correct option and this is the answer of question. Now students look at the next question which is question number 84. What products are formed when the following compound is treated with bromine in presence of FeBr3? Now the language of question is strictly implements that the given reaction is electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. And you are aware that in this reaction electrophile is bromonium ion. So bromonium ion will attack at which position that is decided by the 2-methyl group. And since these alkyl groups are ortho para directing group. So we can imagine that 
ortho position with respect to this methyl group is this one this is also the ortho position and this is para position while in case of methyl group with respect to this methyl group this is ortho position this is para position this is again ortho position so bromonium ion can attack only at these three places in which this position is not allowed due to steric hindrance so possibility is that bromonium ion will attack at this position or it will attack at this position now let us see the option the first option is given compound br is attached at the sterically hindered position this is not possible so this option is incorrect in second option first structure is given in which bromine is attacking at a sterically hindered position so the formation of this compound is permitted but in other compound again bromine is attached at a sterically hindered position which is not permitted so this option is also the incorrect option third one is bromine is attacking at a loud position and in another compound also bromine is attached at a loud position so this option is correct option these two compounds can be formed in fourth option first structure is bromine is attacking at para position that is permitted but here the bromine is attacking at meta position which is not permitted so these three options are incorrect option while option number 3 is the correct answer of this question our next question is question number 85 which of the following compounds will undergo racemization when solution of koh hydrolyzes the first structure is of benzyl chloride second one is propyl chloride third one is isopropyl chloride and fourth structure is given an chiral compound or optically active compound now see in this question which of the following compound undergoes racemization racemization takes place when an optically active compound reacts with sn1 mechanism now this is clear that compounds when treated with koh the nucleophilic substitution will take place the first structure is of benzyl chloride the reaction will proceed via sn1 mechanism but the problem is the initial compound is not optically active so product can't be optically active or product can't be racemic mixture second compound is given propyl chloride this compound is primary halide and in primary halide reaction proceed via sn2 mechanism so there is no possibility of racemization third structure is again given to methyl chloropropane and in this compound we can see the reaction proceed via sn2 mechanism because steric hindrance is very small so sn2 mechanism it means probability of racemization is negligible the fourth structure is given this compound is having an asymmetric carbon atom it means there is possibility that when such type of compounds react via sn1 mechanism it will undergo racemization so according to me the correct option or the correct compound which will produce racemic product that is only fourth one and here the options given are 1 and 2 2 and 4 3 and 4 1 and 4 but only fourth compound is the compound which will undergo racemization so all these four options are incorrect options it means this question is incorrect question